Are you excited like me? Football is back. At the weekend, most of the top leagues are returning. Are you ready to start taking the sports box money? If the answer is yes, keep it here and let's crack on. You will learn from this video things like a goal market, home advantage. We're going to do some simple calculations. You will use Poisson distribution and by the end you will be creating your own odds. If you do like this type of video and you do find it uh, helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. I need you to take note before we do get started that this is a simple prediction model. It doesn't allow for situational factors. Now, a situational factor could be like, you know, player changes during the summer, management, uh, whether they're playing during the daytime or under floodlights. We are using last season's data. This is absolutely fantastic for learning sports modeling. The journey's got to start somewhere, so this is a, a good starting point. And it works particularly well for lower leagues, you know, where sort of uh, uh, sports betting companies don't take as much noted. For the purpose of doing this video, we have collected data from the English Premier League, uh, Italy Serie A, France La Ligue, Spain La Liga and the German Bundesliga. This is just an overview of the top five leagues, what we're going to be covering. I've got yellow cards at the end. Now that is not important as, as far as this video goes, but it does show you what the average out had last year. If you want to use them, you know, for the purpose of betting in the card markets, then um, Please take note, uh, but uh, we're going to discuss these now individually. So first things first, total goals, average per game during 2023-24. You can see in the English Premier League, right, the average goals was 3.28 from the 380 games played. Of those, 1.80 was scored at home and 1.48 away. In Italy Serie A, it was 2.61, of which 143 was scored at home and 118 away. France La Liga 270, 145 and 125, and so on. You can see that for yourself, the others, right? So now if we do the home goal advantage, this is uh, very simple. All you do is you deduct the away from the home, right? So home in the English Premier League was 180 and it was 148 away. So you're left with a home advantage of 0 0.32 goals. In the Italy Serie A is 0.25 goals. In France, it's very low, uh, 0 0.20 goals. Uh, Spain La Liga 0 0.32 and the German Bundesliga 0 0.40. Now, while last season's uh, you know results don't necessarily mean it's going to happen the same again, it gives you some sort of inkling of what happens in these types of. Leagues. If we use these goals now and have a look at the over 2.5 goals, because a lot of you like to bet the sort of unders overs, you know it's a popular bet, and both teams to score. So you can see the English Premier League with its average of. 3.28 goals came out with overs uh, winning 64.8% of those matches right in Italy Serie A where it was 2.61 only 49.2% uh, ended going over right now the thing is uh, when you do learn about the Poisson a little bit later on you would have to average out at about 2.64 goals per game you know uh, that's the typical sort of uh, present distribution uh, to come out at 50 50 you know uh, odds of 2.0 on both the over 2.5 and under 2.5 so just bear that in mind you can see the both teams to score uh, you can see obviously England and uh, Germany are very high the others are quite closely grouped together the Serie A 52.4 you can see that is higher than the uh, two and a half goals that both teams to score and it's the same with the France of the league and same with the Spain La Liga. So, you know, when the goal expectancy is uh, lower, the both teams to score is a more popular bet. And the interesting thing is, normally you'd get better odds on both teams to score than you would on the over. What you can see there is that if you did actually bet uh, Spain La Liga, and you bet everything under 2.5 last year, and you did the same in Italy Serie A, I can guarantee you, you would have profited. I mean, we look at the closing line value, 
but you would have profited in those two leagues by betting that under two players. So now if we just consider the uh, results on this uh, season, the number of uh, wins, the number of draws and the percent of uh, away, uh, you can see in England, you know, the fas- fascinating part about that is that uh, the draws was right down to 21.6%. Uh, the others are quite closely matched, aren't they? If you look at uh, Italy, Serie A, France, La Liga, and uh, Spain La League. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Now, what we what we would normally do in this situation, we would then convert these percentages into betting odds. So it's just simply 100 divided by the percent is the actual betting odds. And you can see that here. In England, betting the draw last year, you'd probably lost a fortune if you just betting the draws in every game because of, uh, you'd have had to match out at odds of over 4.63 uh, to make a profit and it's the same you know like uh, if you was betting all the away teams uh, in England last year right you would have to match out at uh, uh, over 309 uh, to profit so you can see the differences uh, there the others are more together in terms of uh, Italy Serie A is uh, the lowest at 3.39 would expect that to go up this uh, season just like would expect the English Premier League to sort of drop down now France La Liga and the sort of German Bundesliga you Sort of think they're more sort of realistic and it's been illegal so 3.55 that was traditionally sort of you know 28 uh, percent draws was uh, uh, pretty standard for top leagues uh, so just take those into consideration now what we're going to do is that data that we've uh, uh, looked at we're going to use that uh, to create betting odds with the uh, pass on distribution the the data that we're going to use though we're going to just take these top three leagues english premier to serie a the france league they're the odds you know the 18 uh, 1.48 they're what we're going to be pumping into the system and uh, if you just need to know what present distribution is, it's a statistical technique used to model the probability of a given number of events occurring within a given time interval. A popular use of Poisson is calculating goal probabilities and betting odds in football matches. So the first uh, Poisson distribution calculator is XG score. We've already got the uh, English uh, Premier League in 1.80, 1.48. That's what we had as uh, uh, the averages from last season. And you can see what they create once you press them. You've got odds of 2.18, the draw 4.18 and the away 3.32. If you go down to the over 2.5 goals, you can see it creates all different sorts of uh, odds for the totals but uh, uh, over 2.5 is 156 with the uh, 2.78 is uh, the under and uh, you go both teams to score 1.49 and 305 now if we change those odds you'll see them change as i actually tap them in right so look 1.43 now and we're gonna then you can see how those odds changed how they moved out right but we'll do the away at uh, 1.18 and you'll see that those odds change again. We can hit the probabilities if you wish to, or just go straight for the odds again, right? And you can see that uh, in Italy, it's 2.31, the ohm in this instance, you know, if expected goals was uh, 143 and 118, the draw would be 3.72 and the away 335. This is how they are calculating it. The over under 2.5 is 203 with 197, all under uh, percent books. And uh, of course, uh, you've got uh, uh, the uh, both teams uh, both to score. Yes, uh, 178 to uh, 229. No. Now, if we go over to the other website, uh, I quite like this one actually, is uh, Since Win. They take their data from uh, footballdata.co.uk, so we know it's uh, pretty good. Uh, we can uh, calculate uh, the same in the English Premier League. We go uh, 180 the home team, 148 the away team, and you can see they come up with a set of odds of 2.21 on the home, uh, 4.38 the draw, and 3.14 the away win. Right? We can also scroll down. We can see that uh, both teams score 155, and uh, not to score is uh, 281. And as for the under over, 157 with uh, 275 is the under percent book. Uh, also, what I like about uh, Since Win for you, because uh, this can be pretty beneficial for lower leagues, is actual correct score. So you can see 0 0, uh, that is uh, uh, the odds for the correct score. If we wanted to try another one, uh, we did uh, put in three. So let's be generous here. Let's just put in uh, France. We'll go 145. Uh, and we do the one two five we'll calculate the odds and you can see they just uh, change right so you've got uh, 239 the home uh, 39 the draw 307 the away as far as the uh, 
uh, under overs goes, you've got 197 with 203, and both teams the score goes to 183 to 22. I would suggest that you play around with these websites yourself, but uh, you know, it won't take you long to get uh, the gist of what's uh, happening, and I'll put a, a link obviously in the description. Now we need to compare the results of uh, what the Poisson calculated throughout and uh, you know what actually happened last season. So if we look at uh, the over and under goals, uh, we can see they're pretty close to you know what happened except uh, with the acceptance of uh, uh, Spain La Liga uh, but that was a little bit indifferent like we mentioned uh, English Premier League 154 with 284 you see I mean XG score and sense of win they've got both pretty close if they're on the dot uh, XG score with Italy Serie A and the German Bundesliga as well the <laughs> you can't complain with that so so you can see with the over under you would say it's a fair reflection of actually what happened uh, to you know the results that uh, came out at the end right so if we go to the 1x2 uh, uh, comparison uh, again, you know, the English Premier League with those uh, big odds about the, the draw last year, that's obviously going to be a bit of the spanner in the works, but uh, everything else works out. I wouldn't say close. I mean, there was a bit of a difference there in the German Bundesliga, wasn't there? But again, more draws came out than actually uh, what uh, the Poisson calculator was uh, sort of expecting, right? So this is a bit of a weakness that is not sort of taken into account individual leagues. But uh, again, you know, things balance out over the space of time. Down. Still a good reflection. And you can see how this would help you in the, the sort of uh, smaller leagues, right? The lower leagues, right? With the both teams to score, this is where I'd have the biggest issue. As you can see, XG score are actually getting nowhere near uh, the actual uh, results from last season. Since when they are a little bit closer, one uh, facet that I will mention is that uh, actually there is, uh, you know, you're probably better off uh, betting the uh, both uh, teams to score in Italy, Serie A, France, La Liga and Spain, La Liga compared to the over 2.5 goals because the percentages are holding up a little bit better and you're going to get a little bit more sort of value, yeah? But, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, you know, both teams to score, it's not a big thing for the sort of uh, professional gambler, but, uh, you know, for the leisure player, it's something that you could be considering. So consider that. Uh, you can also go on this, can't you? And uh, yeah, so let's move on. Let's go and calculate an EPL day one match that's coming up. You know, it's playing at the weekend, right? This is the first game of the season, West Ham uh, against uh, Aston Villa. So what we're going to do in this instance, we're going to work out the attack strength of uh, each team. We're going to uh, try to sort of, you know, go on last season's results and see what we come up with, right? So we're going to determine the average number of goals scored per team, per home game and per away game. The season total goals scored at home divided by the number of uh, games, you know, in a season. The season total goals scored away by the number of games in a season. So in the EPL, for example, you know, there were 684, uh, you know, played at home. So, uh, divided by 380, that came to that 180. And the 562 divided by the uh, 380 uh, came out with uh, 1.48, right? So, you know, you've got those two together. The ratio of the team's average and the uh, league average is what constructs constitutes the attack strength, right? The defense strength, that is, uh, uh, you have to determine the average number of goals an average team concedes per home game and per away game. This is simply the inverse of the last numbers that uh, you know, we mentioned before. So it's the average number of goals conceded at home is 1.48, the average number of uh, goals conceded uh, away is 1.80. The ratio of a team's average and the league average is what constitutes a defense strength. So in the instance of uh, West Ham, if we do the XG calculation, right, you can just take my words for this, I've already done the averages, right? So the number of goals scored at home by West Ham last uh, season were 31, divided by the 19, you've got 163. You divide this uh, by the value of this season's average home goals, so 163, and you know it was uh, 1.80, and there you get the attack strength of 0 0.91. So now you calculate Aston Villa's defence strength because you're doing the opposite, aren't you? Right. So the number of goals conceded away by Aston Villa uh, last season were 33 divided by 19. 
equals 1.74. Now you divide uh, this by the season's average conceded away goals in this instance, that's 174 by 180, and you're going to get 0 0.97. So now all we have to do to find out the XG is multiply 0 0.91 the attack, 0 0.97 the defense uh, by the league average 1.80. And so we come up with a number that it's 1.59 for West Ham uh, XG in this uh, particular game. Right now, if we move on to uh, Aston Villa, so uh, we have to, in this instance, we're going to do it the opposite way around. So you can calculate Aston Villa's attack strength, number of goals scored away by Aston Villa. They scored 28 divided by 19 is 1.47. Divide this by divide this value, the 147, by this season's uh, uh, average away goals, which was 148, and you get 0 0.99. Now. We have to calculate West Ham's defence strength, obviously, because uh, they're their own team, right? Uh, so now we've got to do the opposite. So the number of goals conceded uh, away by West Ham was uh, 28 by 19. It's 1.57. Divide this 1.57 by the season's average conceded at home goals, which is uh, 1.48, and you get a defence strength of 0 0.99. So now we just have to times the three again. Multiply the 0 0.99 at the 0 0.9 with the league average for the away, which is 1.48, right? And you come up with 1.45. So you can see, you know, the, the differences, you've got 1.59 to 1.45. There, I just wrote it down just to make it uh, easy for you to sort of uh, follow. You can see it's at the bottom, 1.59, and now we just bang it into the calculator and you can see the odds that are coming up, right? Uh, it says that our own win is average odds, uh, should be odds of about 2.47, the draw 4.5, 1.18 and the away win 2.81. As far as the overs and unders go, they're expecting you know 1.69 for their overs and 2.45 uh, under. And if we go to both teams to score, we can see it's 1.63 at both teams score. Yes, and uh, that they don't is uh, 2.6. Yeah, so that's about the gist of it. If you want to be a successful gambler, my advice is simple keep on learning the bigger the problem you solve the more money you're going to make so that's just about it if you have any questions any comments then you know where to leave them also check out the description i'm going to give you all the links that you're going to need to get onto these websites to look up poison for yourself also probably some reference websites and a long description so that's it. You're through to boot camp again for now. Take care. Bye-bye.